The US dollar keeps losing ground, falling for eight straight weeks as investors continue to avoid it and look for other currencies whose economies currently outperform the United States in terms of handling the coronavirus pandemic. The greenback lost 0.26% on Friday to post a 0.36% loss for the week. The dollar saw eight straight weeks of losses with its longest run of weakness in a decade, with the Friday's decent batch of US economic data failing to lift the US currency. Meanwhile, rising uncertainty around another stimulus package have been also prompting outflows from the dollar, dragging DXY to new weekly lows. In the docket, the always relevant initial claims rose by 933,000 for the week ended August 8, the first reading below 1 million since late March. Despite the improvement in the weekly indicator, there are still nearly 15.5 million Americans living off insurance benefits. Meanwhile, Reuters reported over the weekend that a planned US-China trade deal review initially set for Saturday was delayed with a no new date agreed upon, citing sources familiar with the plans. US President Donald Trump issued an executive order on Friday forcing China's Biden to sell or spin off its US TikTok business within 90 days. In his order, Trump cited credible evidence that Biden might take auction that threatens to impair the national security of the United States. Meanwhile, the euro continued its rise up by 0.25% on Friday at 1.1841, climbing for eight straight weeks. Growing faith in Europe's rebound and concern about the US response as the coronavirus spreads and and politicians remain deadlocked over the next relief package have bolstered the euro. In the meantime, the British pound was also higher by 0.16% against the dollar on Friday to close at 1.3084 as investors sought to focus on a rebound in growth in June rather than a stunning 20% quarterly contraction. Elsewhere, in the crypto market, Bitcoin bulls have said the sites are on cracking $12,000. It's a battle throat with the risk as multiple rejections uh, at this stubborn level of resistance could be seen as a bearish signal. Others disagree and say repeated uh, retests uh, heighten uh, the chances of success. Bitcoin ended the past week with a solid 2.14% gain at $11,925 on Sunday, rising by 0.4% in a day. There are fears that uh, we could be hidden for a correction with a crypto fear and a greed index flashing a score of 82, which means that there is extreme greed in the crypto market. Still, some analysts believe history could be repeating itself. They highlight uh, clear sim uh, similarities between what happened in the BTC market over the past few weeks and its run to all-time highs in 2017. Meanwhile, in commodities, oil remains beyond by optimism that a sustained recovery in energy demand is underway. Boosted by US government data showing crude oil inventories declined the week ending August 7th. International benchmark brand crude settled at $44.80 per barrel on Friday, posting a 0.3% fall for the day, but a 0.9% gain for the week. Meantime, American benchmark WTI settled at $42.01 per barrel on Friday, down by 0.5% for the day and up by 1.9% for the week. Mises for China's July retail sales and industrial production data dampened enthusiasm in the oil markets on Friday. Steel prices recovered after solid use July retail sales print. Meanwhile, gold futures fell by more than 3.5% for the week, the first weekly decline in 10 and the biggest setback since early May, when safe havens plunged during the liquidity crunch at the 
the height of the coronavirus scare in the United States. COMEX December gold fell by 1.05% to settle at $1,949.80 an ounce on Friday, posting a 3.8% weekly loss. You're watching weekly review of currency and commodity markets on InstaForex TV channel. Stay tuned with us. We wish you profitable deals.